Oh, poor you. Poor you. Look, oh, yeah, he needs the most support. Oh, poor Harry. I feel so bad. No. Why, hello there. You guys have been waiting, and it is my duty to keep you guys waiting until you forget about me, and then that's when I come back. It's my signature move. Heartstopper uh, was actually renewed for season two and three, I believe. But yeah, I thought it was a good time to come back around to Heartstopper so you can see how I have been enjoying the series. So yeah, I have episodes two, three, and four for you guys today. I only have episodes seven and eight left to, to uh, release on Patreon. So I'll be releasing those over the next couple weeks. But if you guys would like to watch the individual episode reactions for episode five and six, the full and cut reactions to those episodes, as well as the full and cut reactions for the entire season. I'll leave the links for all those episodes down in the description and in the comments as well. If you guys want to see a video where I kind of give my final thoughts on season one before season two comes out, and you guys want to see me cover season two as well, let me know down in the comments, show some support in the video. And uh, yeah, let's go. Babu. Nick, my boy, what is up? Are you stalking Charlie? 90% of scientists can't tell the difference between this boy and this cat. <laughs> oh my god, wait. I just realized they were saying Nick has like golden retrieve. Like he, he's a basically a golden retriever. Nick has a dog and Charlie has a cat. Charlie's basically saying like can't tell the difference between me and this cat. Oh my god. He definitely likes him. Are you kidding me? It seems like kind of a serious situation. It was true. <laughs> I love how they're both, like, constantly rewriting their texts. It just shows how nervous they are. <laughs> this man's throwing a temper tantrum, trying to come up with a response. <laughs> Did he just friend zone him? I am your friend. Or is he just trying to... Trying to be subtle, maybe? Mm, I don't know. No, he sent it. Uh, what's he gonna say? He's just gonna be like, okay, yeah. Oh, he didn't deny it. Your whole world just crashed around you. I don't believe it. Look at him. There's no way he doesn't have feelings. Look at that. There's so much thought going into that face. He is smitten and I don't want to hear it. This straight friend, nah. -uh. Uh, but now Charlie is gonna think he's straight. Fuck, I bet Charlie's gonna start distancing himself now. Shite. Okay, look, it's half term next week. How about you promise me you'll try to make at least one new friend before then? What the fuck is that? Okay, listen, listen up, listen up. Truth is, you haven't met the social expectations here. You, uh, you gotta make a friend. Do you want me to give you an F for not making friends? Dude, okay, here's a few, few just few scenarios in my head, top of the off the top of the dome. Number one, maybe maybe she doesn't want to make friends. Maybe she doesn't like these these girls. Does it doesn't want to really make many friends. She just wants to go to school, get the day over with. That's number one. Number two, it's kind of hard. I've been alive for almost twenty one years, and um, I can count the number of friends I have made throughout all those years on one hand. It's not easy, lady. <laughs> He's straight, Charlie. Like, you only need to glance him to see that he's a massive heterosexual. Isaac, I know he's straight, he told me. So you need but did he tell you the truth? Okay, your friends are just trying to protect you, though. I understand what they're trying to do. Like, it would suck if you, like, fell in love with a straight guy. And then you were like, well, fuck. What now? Do you want to meet up with us for lunch today? Oh, that's nice. We eat in the canteen, so you can join us anytime. These girls ain't so bad. I mean, they were playing with little toy figures earlier, so I, I doubt they're like the mean girls. This is Nelly. Oh my god, that is the cutest dog. Dog, my parents don't like animals. Are your parents demons? You should come around my house and meet her. Are you free on Saturday? Uh, like a, a date? So. Oh my god. No straight boy smiles like that after making plans with another Boy, I'm sorry. Listen, I don't want to assume things, but did you see the smile? Yeah, I think so. Why are you so happy? Why are you smiling like that? Because you just, you just secretly planned a date. 
It was very subtle, but it was a date. It was a, you asked him out to a date, to your house. Or maybe I'm wrong and he just feels like, he just wants to be nice to him. I don't know. Is my hair too short? Well, you can't grow it by the time you get there, so what's the point in asking that? Just do it. Bring it. Bring the drum out. Do it. Hey. Hey. You got a haircut. <laughs> Is it bad? No, no, you look... It looks great. Oh my god! I'm sorry, I don't want to pause again, but I mean... Haircut compliments? Okay. Stop trying to hide it. Just stop. Before we continue this little heart stopper binge, I wanted to quickly thank the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. I am super grateful to be partnering with BetterHelp on today's video, specifically this video, because I feel like Heartstopper has a lot of themes that revolve around or tie back to mental health. And I feel like it's something that we can all relate to. Throughout high school specifically, I had serious mental health problems. I was missing school. It was affecting my whole life and it truly didn't get better until I started opening up and talking to someone. And that's something that I don't want anyone else to go through. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So that means if you don't wanna physically see your therapist or you don't want them to see you, if it's, if it's not something you're comfortable with, you don't have to. There is a super broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network. So you will have access to help that you may not have available to you right now. And the whole process is super simple. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. After that, you can schedule secure video and phone sessions, and you can also exchange exchange unlimited messages, all of which will be completely confidential. Also, if you find that your therapist isn't exactly meeting your specific needs, you can request a new therapist at any time, completely free of charge. So join the 3 million plus people who have already taken the first step to bettering their mental health with an experienced therapist at BetterHelp. You guys can use my link at the top of the description or go to betterhelp.com slash alexchris to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash alexchris. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Oh, yes. no. <laughs> How are you so good at this? You get to be good at real sports, I get to be good at fake ones. No, you're just good at everything. <laughs> And you are good at sports. Like, you run so fast. Shut up! <laughs> you know it's true. Get off me! Get off! Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Can I be honest? I thought they were gonna kiss there. This is pre kiss behavior. <coughs> and they're about to go out in the snow. Oh my god. Ellie. Okay. Okay. Are you guys really about to play in the snow and then tell me that you don't like each other? Oh, this is cute. I like this. <laughs> you know what? This is just reminds me of like being like 10 years old, 12 years old. And like, this is the type of shit you do. This is like, it's like that child like wonder about it. You know what I mean? Like, this is so childlike. I love it. They're laying together in the snow. If he's straight, I'll eat my carpet. Okay? I'll eat it. Yeah, I just cleaned it. Yeah, I'll eat it. Who are you texting? Back off. Just, he's making plans. He wants nothing to do with you. I'll just say it here. He's definitely chirping someone. Yeah, he is. And what about it? Oh, now he's not going to ask? Oh my god, he's he's scared of judgment now, isn't he? It's gonna start the whole storyline of him distancing himself or something. You know how I thought you were straight? Yes. Well, Didn't act very straight on the weekend. Um, what? What? Nick likes a girl. Her name's Tara Jones. Oh! Oh, the girl that Elle's been hanging out with. Oh, come on. That's a lie. That is indeed a lie. Okay? L-I-E. Lie. First of all, did you see that? He ended, they, they finished the, the rugby game and he went, Charlie! I'm sorry. I've never seen bros act like that, ever. This has to be false information. I'm sorry. 
Anything that doesn't come from the horse's mouth is a lie, okay? Horses tell the truth. So if it doesn't come from the horse's mouth, this is a lie. Do you want to come around my house? I knew you. you just oh my god! Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to say it. No, I am going to say it. Look how good he is. Do you want to come around my house? <laughs> what is that? That is, that is like, do you see that in his eyes? Do you see that? If you look really closely, like, do you guys see that? It's like, um, if you look really hard, it looks like love and crushes and affection. Giddy little bitch. He likes him. There's no doubt in my mind. Let's just stop. Let's just stop fighting about it. He doesn't get No, but I... You're rubbing off on me. You're worse. No, I'm getting worse. Are these girls... Are they best friends or are they dating? <laughs> Hi. I think they're dating. Are you two, like, dating? Yes. Don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> a few of our friends know, but I think you're officially part of the inner circle. <laughs> but that kind of makes you like a third wheel now. <sighs> hey. Oh my god. What a golden retriever looking ass boy. Those look like Harry Potter ones. What the fuck? Why is Charlie so good at everything? Also, he is not even watching your hands trying to learn. He was watching your eyes that whole time. That's how you know he has a crush. I'm sorry. He's supposed to be learning the drums. But he's watching your eyes. Or like counting your freckles or something. I don't know. Oh, he fell asleep. They're watching a movie together on the couch. If this isn't a fucking date, what is? What do you guys do on your dates? Is he gonna hold his hand? Oh, I love that editing. This man felt the sparks. Sparks flew. He doesn't even know that happened. Cause he was sleeping. You look so cuddly like that. That was not straight. That was not a straight thing to say. Why is he so cute? Oh, I love... I love them both. Um, <clears throat> okay, see you Monday. Oh, I love Nick. Stop. What the fuck was that? I don't think he's straight. Yeah, me neither, girl. Me neither. I don't know if he's, like, scared of the way he's feeling, but, like, he seems to embrace his feelings around, like, hugging him and shit. But, like, he also seemed really taken back when he was, like, about to hold his hand, and he's, like, whew, like, he didn't. Like, I think he's still trying to come to terms with it, but he definitely, come on, listen to your sister. Big sister's no best. This man, this is not a straight man. He likes the shit out of you. And his whole camera roll is them two, and the dog. You're basically a family of three. This is so cute. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Why? Oh, he's gonna do a gay test, isn't he? Um, I depressed, same. Okay, this is the first time he's really confronting it, I guess. So he's trying to come to terms with it. He's never felt like this before though. Like, this strongly at least. Okay, there we go, episode two. That was a really, really good one. I like that a lot. Nick, my boy, what is going on? You taking some online tests? Yes, the ultimate way to discover your sexuality. God, I feel like this is the first time he's really thought about it and confronted his feelings. Now the next time he hangs out with Charlie, it's gonna kind of be like the first time that he hangs out with him after having that whole revelation. So, oh my God, I'm just so curious to see what it's gonna be like. So, uh, what's up? It's a talk about a party, man. Party? My 16th birthday party. Oh my God, 16. They are babies. You gonna invite me? No, we're not gonna invite you. I don't even know your fucking name. Apparently. I guess I can invite you, Imogen. Imogen? Yeah. Your name is Imogen? Oh, she's in love. She likes him a lot, doesn't she? Fuck. Saturday night's your chance with Tor. That's all I'm saying. I hate these children. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. 
Oh my god, I hate it. I knew we were going down this road. Do you want to go to Harry's party? With me. That sounded like a fucking date invitation. I'm just saying. How many times are we going to do this? Dude, come on. I'm sorry, but date... Date with a new crush? Movie that you have probably every week? You could tell he's like really not liking the fact that Charlie's kind of obsessing over Nick. I think it's because he thinks Nick is like a douchebag or something. Like he thinks Nick is just like, like it's not gonna happen. Stop wasting your time. It's either that or he's got a crush on, on Charlie too. A secret crush. I don't know. I feel like everyone is really overdressed. Is that just me? Am I an underdresser? Maybe kids have matured or something. This is an introvert's worst nightmare. Dude, his face lights up. Can you guys just kiss? Oh my god, are they gonna kiss at this party? I don't know if Nick would though, because he's so... Um, I feel like he's so reserved about this right now. Not reserved, because, like, look at him. Look at him. Does that look like a reserved man? That looks like an excited, excited young man. I've, who, I've never seen someone this excited to see a friend. Oh, um, uh, well, okay, well, actually, I mean, look at that. He's, <laughs> he's also excited. Um, oh my god. I'm excited. Look, me too. I guess I have seen some excited people in my time. Hello. Oh my god. Buddy, what is your name? You look like a George. Tara Jones, is it? Hey. <laughs> so what? So this is your big second chance, mate. Let's make it happen. Let's not make it happen. How about that? Proper romantic. Aww. You should go for it, right? How could it have been proper romantic at the age of 13? At that age, I mean, I can only imagine the amount of drool. You know why? Because they're, they're toddlers at that age. Also, you know who else looks like a toddler? Him. What? You're telling me that's the face of a 16-year-old? That is a second grader. It's your birthday. Why are you so worried about Nick Nelson and his love life? Take a chill pill, please. Please. All right, ladies. Hey, Tara. I got someone who wants to see you. This is so awkward. Uh, yeah. Hi. No, okay. Plot twist. She is gay. So, this is not going to go well. Oh, my God. They're both gay. <laughs> both of them can't wait for this encounter to be over. I don't really... You feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I don't feel that way about you either. <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness. Let's squash this what would you do if I just right now. I told everyone I was a lesbian. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, you, you actually are. That's my girlfriend. Oh my god. What if he talks to her about this? This can be so cool if he actually talks to her about it, maybe. I, could, I like her. Do you know Charlie Spring? Yeah, I know of Charlie Spring. Uh, are, are you friends? Yeah, yeah, we sit next to each other in form. He's probably, yeah, he probably is my best friend right now. <laughs> um, what is that? Stop. Stop. Just stop right there. I love how sure he was of that. That was so cute. Nick, where are you going? <laughs> Oh my god, Harry. Nerdy little year 10. Why do you even hang out with him? He's my friend. But why? What? I'm sorry for him because he's gay. <laughs> you know what? Maybe you, I feel sorry for your second grader face. 16? Where? That is literally the default second grade haircut. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Nice little right uppercut for him. Do you think he has a crush on you? <laughs> oh my- Nick, can you punch them, please? That's homophobic, Harry. Tell him. Come on, mate. I really don't like you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah, tell him. Oh, oh, well, he's heartbroken. Look, look at- Oh, poor you. Poor you. Look, oh, yeah, he needs the most support. Oh, poor Harry. I feel so bad. No. Here, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Get off my screen. I don't want to see your face. 
So I think I'm going to be okay there. That hurts. That's a good change, right? Yeah, it is. Oh. I can't tell if they're just like, fr do friends do that? Because I would say no. But maybe they're like, is something gonna happen between them? I don't, I don't know. Oh my God, Ben 10. I told you not to show your face around here. Do you want to catch an uppercut? Because... Punch him! Give him a punch. Oh, okay. Next time. Yeah, it's warning though. <laughs> Imogen, I don't care about you. I really like you, Nick. We can tell. I need to find my friend. <laughs> Imogen, why are you so happy after that? That was not a win, girl. <laughs> She's like, I told him. <sighs> Finally, the moment I've been waiting for. I told him and he said, okay, I'm going to find my friend. I think she's drunk. I think it's a good thing that she's drunk to save her from that embarrassment. I don't think she's comprehending what's happening very well. Oh. He's seeing them have fun. I think he's realizing like... That's what, like, feeling free looks like. You go, girls! Oh, he's so happy for them. <laughs> Me too, I'm happy for you guys. Hi. 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 It's your favorite words to exchange. I don't know if I want to hang out with those guys anymore. I'd rather hang out with you anyway. <laughs> I'm going to cry. It's kind of noisy in here, isn't it? Yeah. You want to get out of here? Okay. That is what you say to someone when you want to kiss their face. You want to race? I... Race. You're against Charlie. You're going to lose. I'm just saying. He's the fastest kid in the school for a reason. Okay. Oh, I love, I love how, like, free he feels with... Charlie? Whoa! Yeah. How did Harry hire this entire place? Oh, he's like extremely rich. Oh, they're gonna have the first kiss in here. So. Okay, let's get to talking. Uh, oh. So you don't have a crush on Nora at the moment? I wouldn't say that. Well, I didn't say that. It's not a crush. It's more like love. What was she like then? He didn't say it was she. You're just gonna assume they're a she. Oh! Are they not a girl? Mm -mm. No. Um. He's like, psych, it is. I just, you just shouldn't assume. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Would you go out with someone who wasn't a girl? I don't know. He doesn't know. He's never... He's discovering himself right now. Maybe. Oh my god. I love this. Did you kiss someone? It wasn't a girl. I don't know. Oh my god. I love how, like, honest this is. Because, like, he... Oh my god. Literal sparks, like, literal cartoon sparks. And flowers flying around your head. Look at that. Would you kiss me? I think yes! Yeah. This man said yes! Oh my god. He's getting more action than the birthday boy. I think Nick likes it. You okay? Yes, I think he's more than okay. Oh my god, Harry. Mate, we don't care, dude. We forgot about you. Oh. 
Oh. He just left him? Without saying anything? And like, it's all just banter, isn't it? I mean, the lads can see. No, it's not just banter. Homophobia is just banter, guys. Okay? Remember that. Don't be so antsy about it. It's just banter. There is no brain in there. There's none. Not a cell, nothing. Oh, he feels like... He feels like it's Ben 10 all over again. I feel so bad. Nick, maybe call him or something, please? I can't, he didn't text you or anything? I just can't, I don't believe this. Nick would 100% have texted you if I know Nick. And I know Nick, trust me. Can you get the door, please? The postman. The postman. It's Nick, okay? The postman wouldn't be knocking at your door, waiting. He would drop it off. Okay, we are past those days. Hi. Hi. Our favorite words. Oh my god, of course. I knew it. I knew he was gonna show up. He's too good a guy. I loved that. That was so good. This show is such a feel-good show. Okay. I'm excited. P pick up right where we left off, yeah? Yep. Um, I'm sorry for not texting you. I just wanted to talk in person. Bless his soul. I'm sorry to pause already, but I knew it was out of character for him not to text. And I'm like, what the fuck? Nick would 100% text, make sure he's okay. He just did the next best thing. Show up at his freaking door. I just wanted to say Nick, that. I didn't know you are coming around. Okay, cock block. Get out of here. Yeah, he's just picking up a jumper he left you last week. I think he came here to pick something else up. You. So, I'm so sorry. Why are you sorry? I'm sorry? He liked it! I know you probably don't want to talk to me ever again. What? Buddy, you got it all wrong! <laughs> the little flowers. <laughs> I love it. Are you gonna say sorry again? I was just freaking out because uh, I was confused. Yeah. I'm having a proper full-on gay crisis. <laughs> and it's not that I didn't want to, you know. He just doesn't know how to handle it. It's you. I was just so confused. Yeah, I, I had a whole talk about this last episode. We know, buddy. It's okay to be confused. I'm the most confused person on the planet. Just with normal things. It took me like a week to figure out how to use my dryer. And that's easy stuff. So I, you're, he understands, trust me. I just think I need some time to figure this out. 100%! My boy, you got it! This is so good. The way it's written, like, they're actually communicating. And, and look what happens when you communicate. Things work out. The whole thing with Ben was like, he just didn't tell Charlie, like, oh, I'm confused, I don't know what's going on, like, I need time. He just completely ignored him and just basically took what he wanted from, from their relationship and, and then ignored him for the rest of the time. Nick is literally in the same situation where he's confused, he, he knows he loves spending time with him, clearly likes kissing him, clearly has feelings and he's confused, but he's communicating that he's confused and he needs time. And you could see, like, if you go back, you could see how relieved Charlie is after Nick communicates and he like hugs him and he's like, well, that's fine. He's just so relieved that he's finally being communicated with and he witnessed what happened with Ben. So he knows, I think, that communication is just key in the situation. They're great. They're written so well. At school, is it okay if we like- See? Asking him. Talking to him about it first. Yeah. I just don't really know if I can uh... You know. That's understandable. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> That's so cute. Give him that freaking umbrella. Oh my god, the umbrella is blue and yellow. Like, he's wearing blue, he's wearing a yellow shirt. What the fuck? You did that on purpose. Kiss in the rain? Did I forget something? Yeah, a kiss. 
So yeah, that would be so smooth. <laughs> I love it. That's adorable. <laughs> I love how himself he is with Charlie and he doesn't try to hide it. It's great. I know I already talked about it, but that was just amazing. It was just amazing. You see how Nick asked Charlie, can we keep this a secret, please? Just for a little bit, just because I can't come out with anything yet. Like I haven't figured it out. I don't know what's going on. All I, all I know is I like you. All he had to do was ask. And Charlie's not gonna be like, no, come out, bitch. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, I've got to go. I forgot I had morning detention. <laughs> okay, good. Get out of here. Oh my god, poor girl. She thinks that... No! Oh my god, I thought she was gonna come back and kiss him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why. I thought she was gonna, like, try to sneak a kiss on him there. I would've headbutted her. J I'm just saying. Uh, I don't know. I have a... Is this gonna go wrong? I, like, is, is he gonna... I feel like... Nick is gonna be good about this. I, don't, I feel like he's not gonna. Oh, look at him! He is. Ah, I was worried for nothing. I was worried like a little idiot. Look at that smile. They're so cute. They're giddy. I doubted my guy for a second. I'm sorry. I doubted him. I doubted him, but he pulled through. Look at that. Look at that. That is my golden retriever. Hi. Hi. I missed you. I saw you in form like four hours ago. I gotta go. I gotta go. My mom's calling me. I gotta go, guys. Bye. That was too cute for me. I gotta go. Uh, <laughs> Why is he being so cute for? This man said, I miss you. It wasn't even needed. It wasn't even needed. I, he wasn't even expecting that. You just know that makes Charlie feel good because he's so used to being ignored and shit. He's just not used to this. I love it. When the bullying was really bad, Mr. Ajayi was the only teacher who really cared that much. I told him about the Ben making me keep us a secret thing. No. Oh no 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 no. We're doing. Yeah, don't feel bad. Kim, this is completely different. Yeah, because you communicated. Yeah. I see, you know, I just, I like even the fact that he felt bad for a second there when he, when he, he realized like, oh shit, I'm keeping this a secret. Like, is this bad for you? You know what I mean? Because he realizes like, shit, like, I don't want him to feel like that again. It's just nice that, that he gave him reassurance that like, okay, it's not the same thing. Like, you're not, you're not, even though we're, we're not shouting it from the rooftops, you're not ignoring me and like talking shit to me in the hall. Like, oh my God, remember that one scene in episode one? Who Why? are you? Why are you speaking to me? I would, sh oh my God. Oh no. White uppercut to Ben 10. Him and Harry, both of them, in the boxing ring, now. They could fight each other to the death. Try not to worry about getting hurt and just throw yourself into it. That doesn't sound very fun. Don't worry about getting hurt. Just throw your body in there. Don't worry. Just, just throw yourself in there. I'm a little bit worried about getting hurt. I'm not gonna lie. I would be worried. Hi, Imogen. What's up? One minute I hear you and Nick Nelson are a thing. The next I hear you're kissing some girl at Harry's party. Ugh, why is this your business? Nick doesn't like you. Basically together, so I just needed to check. No, you're not. Together. You're not basically together at all. You're not even close. Look, we look cute together. Yeah. Is she crazy? Is she insane? You're, oh my God. I hate her so bad. Oh my God, what the fuck was that? We're basically together. I mean, we look cute together, don't we? Right? In what world are you basically together? Tell me the world. Tell me the world and I won't go there. Ever. I'll stay away. Because I don't like- that's weird. Look at them. It's a bad idea to even walk near them. Charlie's putting himself in danger just because he has a little unrequited crush. Um, I wouldn't- Okay. That was unnecessary. Okay, I understand his hate for them. Well, I understand his hate for Harry. You okay? Yes. Can I have the ball back? It's mine now. The fuck? What did Nick do to you? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh. Okay. 
That bothered me. I completely understand his anger towards that whole group, but I'm sorry. Nick himself has never done anything to Tao. And also, I feel like Tao kind of targeted Nick there because he's taking Charlie away from them. Nick was the one that was nice to you and you threw the ball at him. You could have literally just thrown the ball at the guy that threw the ball at you. That would have made it, made it, made more sense. It's just petty. Nick does not deserve any of that, ever. He is the nicest boy. Charlie! My guy? I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm mainly here to get acquainted with the local gays. <laughs> you and Nick Nelson are looking suspiciously coupley. Oh my god, please ignore her. My friend. He's my friend. He's more than a friend, but... She needs to... Be more subtle. Okay. Imogen, just stop. Ugh, she's so annoying. I need Nick to, like, once and for all, like, shut her down. Like, you know what I mean? Just so she knows. I hope that happens this episode. Is that... I feel like that's not hard to do. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not a sports person, so I truly don't know. Maybe I'm just being a dick right now. But I feel like kicking it through that right there is not that hard. Because it's like, look how wide that is, right? I feel like I could do that. I don't know. Maybe I could be a rugby star. Tackle him! Do it! Oh my god, that's a big guy. Don't do it, don't do it. Holy fuck. Okay. He, he tossed you aside like you were just a fly. Like he flicked you. Holy balls. Is it okay if we, like, keep this a secret? Yeah. Is he gonna go check on him? Oh, he didn't. Hey. Well, he's here now. All oh, the effects. I love them. Uh, sorry for um interrupting. This man could not be more obvious that he suspects something. It was all over his face. He's like, hi. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. How, like what? Charlie's not going to give up on Nick Nelson, is he? Why would he? Maybe we should just stop getting involved. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Insane concept. What are you waiting for? I was just waiting to see Nick. Oh. Okay. Oh, don't do this. I'm gonna vomit. What's up? I'm warning you, you're going to be embarrassed. I... wanted to ask... Oh, fuck. Like, this is really random. But maybe we could, like, go out somewhere <laughs> together. No. How about no? Like, I guess, sort of a date. Mm -mm. No, uh. Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, what is he gonna say? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I hated that. Why is everyone there watching like it's some big event? Everyone's pressuring her into doing it. Everyone's pressuring him to like be like, yeah, go on, say yes. It's just so stupid. If she asked him in private, he would have said no. I think he just like said yes, just to, like get like get everyone to fucking just like end the fucking interaction basically. And off and Tao and Elle were watching, so they are gonna take this completely out of context and tell they're gonna tell Charlie before Nick can tell Charlie. And it's gonna turn into this big thing. Oh, I hate this. This drama cannot be avoided. Alrighty, folks, hopefully you enjoyed that. That was Heartstopper episode two, three, and four. I'm loving the show. It's definitely a comfort show. I can't wait to see how they ended off in season one and how they actually continue this in season two and three because they've already renewed for season two and three. And I know that there's like graphic novels. So like there's already a kind of a, a, a story outline for it, I guess. So I don't know. I'm, I'm very excited to see where it all goes, but I'm loving it. Let me know which is your favorite episode of season one. And also let me know what you guys think about the dynamic between Charlie and Nick because...
yeah, if you guys want to watch episode five and six, you can check those out right now on Patreon. Like I said, all the full uncut reactions and commentaries for Heartstopper are available there. And I'll be releasing seven and eight over the next couple of weeks. So there's hours of content for Heartstopper. If you guys are interested in going really in depth and having super long discussions and reviews and stuff, that's the place to be. But yeah, drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy this and you want to see another Heartstopper video from me to finish off the season. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. Check out all my socials if you want to talk to me, I guess. I'll catch you guys later. Kiss attack.